Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Not an active couple of days of weather out here across western Oregon. In fact, we're still looking at a chance for some isolated thunderstorms. Now, most of those have been up into the uh, western hills outside of Portland and the Coast Range, Hillsboro and whatnot outside McMinnville. We've seen uh, even a report of a funnel cloud earlier today around 3 o'clock. That was up towards Vancouver. So far, a little closer to home, things have been fairly quiet, just mainly showers, a couple of stronger downpours. Now, wait till you see how, what the uh, actual rain totals are. And this is something I always have to remind people is you got to remember the rain buckets and the rain gauges are in one spot. So that's not a real representation of what all of uh, the area has gotten. In fact, here at the station, we actually got a couple of good downpours uh, before the 5 o'clock newscast tonight. So north of Salem, you can see a couple of stronger lines continuing to move those batches up into the uh, northern end of the Cascades. Just outside of, oh, let's say right out towards Marcola as you move towards uh, Walterville, same deal. Looking at some scattered showers as they move their way out towards uh, the uh, 126 and out to uh, Mackenzie Bridge. Otherwise, the real heavy stuff is with the low. The low is actually moving east of Burns and Boise and out towards Ontario. So you got a lot of uplift there anywhere from western Montana over into northern Idaho. Back end of this system now kind of getting chewed up a bit. High pressure starting to build in, so things are a little quiet. This is what I was talking about. Look at this. You see this and you say, wait, 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 Stapes. There's no way, right? There's got to be more rain in the buckets than that. Well, officially, no, but obviously there was more rain across the region. That fell today, half an inch up at Newport, got about uh, an inch in some spots on the north coast. And then again, same thing as you go back off towards La Grande. La Grande, you want to know where the low was today? Look at the coldest temperatures across the state. 50 in John Day and 54 in La Grande. That's where that low sat for most of the afternoon. Slightly warmer in the Dallas. We still had a good westerly push, keeping us in the 60s here across the western end of the state, including out towards the coast. Temperatures right now sitting around 57 in Florence. We're still in the mid-60s down in Roseburg. Just a tad cooler than that in Eugene at 63. 40s on top of the mountains and around 53 out in Bend. So here's the setup for tomorrow. The low continues to scoot eastward. And we still have a little bit of back around what we call wraparound flow or sort of some moisture coming in out of the west and northwest. So I'm going to keep a mention of a few isolated showers, mainly in the morning. Now, as we transition to Friday and Saturday, we're starting to see a bit of a ridge start to build. It's not going to be very strong, but at least it will start to lift northward and start to slowly push off that kind of cool marine air and that should allow us to warm up just a bit. So while we'll have the leftover showers tomorrow morning, by the time we get to Friday afternoon and especially Saturday, we should start to see a more sunnier forecast just in time for the first day of summer, which is Friday, by the way. And then as we head to Sunday and Monday, we've got another big storm, a little bigger, but same type deal of what we just saw this one come through, sits offshore for about a day, and then comes slamming in as we head into next week. So we'll go for isolated morning showers at the coast, temperatures slowly moving back up into the mid 60s, evening rain on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, fairly wet looking conditions. In the Umpqua tomorrow, should be sunny by the afternoon. That'll bump the temperatures back into the low 70s, mid 70s on Friday, low 80s on Saturday, and then some scattered showers late on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the wet days. In the Cascades, isolated showers might see a thunderstorm possible, but I think we're pretty much done with that. Bend and Redmond, low 60s as well, and then it's dry and low 70s as we head into the weekend forecast. And then finally in the Valley, we'll see the temperatures there around 68 to 69 tomorrow, guys, and into the mid to upper 70s as we head towards Saturday. Should be a nice start to the weekend. Good. I, I definitely had to search out for my raincoat. And, uh, oh, yeah. It was, it was coming, today. coming down it earlier was. today. Absolutely. I know. But the old coat definitely got wet there. Yeah, sure. I saw it when you came in today. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, Justin. You bet.